we certainly are a game changer. We call ourselves a challenger brand. We came into this market, which was predominantly dominated by one player. So Heineken South Africa, um, like any other corporate, you know, we've also been badly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic and the recent um, unrest in the country. As a business, we have uh, and continue to work with communities in our fence line, but also working with a number of stakeholders. So one of our key priority, particularly during the COVID pandemic, it has been mainly to support our customers, particularly taverners, to make sure that they are compliant with COVID-19 protocols and that they trade responsibly. And so when you go to an outlet, you should have the same experience that you'd have in a very um, a bigger retailer like a pick and pay or Woolworths. So you should be able to be sanitized and also make sure that you can observe that COVID protocols are in place. So that's been the work that we've been doing. We've been doing that work with our industry partners. We've also been working with our um, industry association, which is AWARE, to drive awareness around responsible use of alcohol. And I think what has been quite evident during the lockdown has been um, the prevalence of abuse of alcohol and so that has been one of our key focus area to educate South Africans and also to appeal with our customers to drink responsibly and make sure that they enjoy the alcoholic beverages in a manner that is compliant with COVID-19 protocol. When we talk about education and awareness specifically with use of alcohol you must remember that it's actually not about just the awareness, it's a change in behavior. Now the change in behavior requires some, it requires constant intervention. I mean, I think many of us, yes, we know that we shouldn't be drinking sugar, but we still have sugar. But for that change in behavior to happen, it is constant reminder, constant cues about the messaging, but also having an alternative to then not having a product with so much sugar. And so, the industry, and particularly us Heineken, we have been very clear and we are, uh, we've been innovating the space of introducing beverages that have a lower alcohol ABV. So when we say to people, drink responsibly, we create also an alternative for those who says, listen, I actually want to enjoy my afternoon having an alcoholic beverages. So for me to do so, let me have one with a lower ABV, than, which then I can drink you know, over a period of time. And so for me, that's where I think the role of technology is important because social media, people are plugged into social media. But ultimately it is, is there an alternative for me then to drink responsibly? Uh, do I understand what does it mean to drink responsibly? Because it's one thing to say it, but what does it mean? Is it two, is it three? Is it skipping a day? So it, we have to now, as, 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 as a brand, as a company, we need, we need to take that messaging that sounds a little bit broad and make it very clear and simple for people to understand what does it mean to drink responsibly. Corporate social responsibility. It is needed now than ever. It is needed now to be more strategic in driving the business and ensuring that as a business we rally behind the critical social development agendas of this country. We cannot pay lip service to us as corporate having an impact in our society. So as leaders in the corporate uh, social responsibility space, we need to have an honest conversation around the programs that we have. Are they making a difference? We have a high levels of youth unemployment, yet we have skills development programs. Are those programs making a difference or are we ticking a box? We have leadership programs. Are those leadership programs creating quality jobs for those uh, young people who go through those programs? And so right now, I think as a country and also as corporate South Africa, we all need to now look and reflect honestly and say, are we indeed making the difference that we talk about in our report? And is that difference felt in communities? And what more can we do to make sure that we start turning the tide against unemployment, inequality, and poverty? We have also stepped into the space of now connecting with people in the heart. We've always connected with our consumers because of the proposition that's associated with the brand, which is bought. But with, uh, the COVID, with COVID and what's happening, we have played in the space of using a message and using the power of a brand to get people to be aware of COVID. So we had one ad which was really about 
uh, being said going back to bars which is about you know when you go back to your favorite bar remember now that you have to socialize differently and responsibly we certainly are a game changer we call ourselves a challenger brand we came into this market which was predominantly dominated by one player we have over the years built ourselves up to take a bit of market share from them we are innovating in the space of low and no alcoholic beverages and so we're very excited with the offerings that we're coming into the space and so certainly we are a challenger brand for more stories like these go to www.social-tv.co.za subscribe to us on youtube and follow us on our social mediums